A Minnesota Vikings player is using his success to give back to kids and teens, and there is a way you can help. Kyle Rudolph is partnering with the University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital to create Kyle Rudolph's End Zone. It's a place where patients and their families can kind of relax and uh, get away from some of the stress that comes with being in the hospital. Kyle is with us now, along with Nick Engblom from the University of Minnesota Foundation. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. All right, you have a really cool event going on this weekend. You have a couple things, all, both designed to raise mm -hmm. money for your End Zone the hospital right? yeah busy weekend for us we got Sunday fun day at Fletcher's uh, you know a lake fest as we're calling it and then the champions for children golf tournament on Monday so uh, it's gonna be a big weekend for us in the hospital and this is all to raise money for end zone tell us about this project and how you came up with the idea uh, well it goes back about three or four years um, I've always done a lot of work with children's hospital and children's charities a lot of people around the Twin Cities now know my story and know that I'm a brother of a, a childhood cancer survivor and so it's always been something that's been near and dear to my heart and then when I got involved with the Masonic Children's Hospital and saw the work that they were doing uh, we thought there was something missing and we didn't quite know what that was uh, and now as we've been around for a few years this is what we came up with and we're extremely passionate about this opportunity and can't wait to get it up and running. Nick, we just saw some of the renderings of what the space will look like. Give us an idea of what, I mean, what is it and what does it mean to the, to the families in the hospital? Well, yeah, it's a 2,700 square feet play space indoors, which is really nice with Minnesota winters. There's many times where our kids can't get outside and to be able to have a space that will have an indoor basketball hoop, uh, we've got a teen lounge, we've got an, an actual like kitchen space where we can do prep stuff, have cookies brought in, an area where kids can just hang out and be kids and it's a place to escape kind of that that daily grind of being in the children's hospital and with Kyle and all the partners that he's brought involved in this, um, community partners such as Love Your Melon and Northwestern Mutual and CenturyLink and Cub, this state-of-the-art place is unlike any other in a children's hospital and, and we're so grateful for that and our kids are going to be so spoiled but they really need this. They really yeah, do need but, something like yeah. this. As they should be. You know, the, the illnesses and diseases that they're dealing with, uh, they didn't choose, they didn't yeah. pick, they, they don't want to be there. So uh, if we can make their lives a little bit better and just let them be kids, uh, you know, whether you're a little kid or a teenager, you know, all you want to do is hang out with your yeah, buddies. All you yeah. want to do is, is be normal. And we, you know, we'd like to think that this space will allow the kids to be as normal as possible. And real quick, where are you guys at with fundraising and completion of the project? We know. So we've raised $1.5 million for the space already. Yeah. And we're, the one thing that Kyle's made very clear is we're going to always need funding for this. We want this to be state of the art. So in two years, you know, technology is changing. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we, we also got to get rid of that PS4 and get the, <laughs> right? the PS8 by then or whatever. I mean, we're building a whole yeah. uh, simulation center where kids can kick soccer balls into a screen and get that activity. And that so that's cool. huge technology. But we well, always people, need programming. People can get yep. involved and help now out they can help. on and Sunday. There's a wonderful event at Lord Fletcher's. Uh, it is this Sunday from 11 to 2. Some of the activities are basketball free throws, bags, ping pong challenge, all sorts of stuff. Tickets are $160 for a team of four. And I believe that does get you like three drink tickets a person. So it's a really good deal. You do have to be 21 and older to attend. So there you go. We have a link at WCCO.com slash links to buy those tickets because we, do we need another fishing tournament? We do not. Like, let's go, let's go play at Lake Fle uh, Lord Fletcher's. Yep. Absolutely. Good. Very good. Thanks, Thanks guys.